south that I'm reaching out with praying. My God, for the Webb's family. Amen. I know he's following us. Amen. On Facebook. I want to just say God bless you to you out there. For the Webb's, amen. And your family. Beautiful people. Amen. Amen. We love the Lord. And we thank God for his people. I'm going to tell you, somebody loves the Lord. Amen. 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 Everybody ain't. Amen. Just making a noise and got the form of God in it. But there's some people that love the Lord. Amen. And they have given their lives over to him. That he may get the glory out of their lives. Praise God. Amen. And we know that we're here for this time. Amen. He's made me to know that I got you here for this time. Praise God. This is to see. We're, we're not ahead of time. We're on time. Somebody need to say something to me. Praise God. Praise God. And it ain't what we see. Praise be to God, because he has not revealed to us yet what's behind this curtain that has struck. Praise be to God. But oh, when the curtain rolls back, amen, uh, and God began to pay, praise God, because we used to sing a song, payday is coming after a while. Put your time in, because payday is coming after a while. God bless you. God bless you.
the shackles. You are there of you and praise God. You've been loose. He's loose and put your shackles. Now give him some praise. Give him some praise.
and he works twice as hard to try to hold you captive. Huh? But I'm free. For whom the sun set free is free. And we praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm going to try very hard. Amen. We'll talk to you on Wednesday night. Sponsor, but if not, Friday night, hopefully. Amen. If we, if we get ourselves a new crop and smile and new line that we can actually. Amen. Talk to you all. Praise God. And uh, I'm trying very hard. My dear sister's not busy. Sister Paige, I give way to her Friday night. I'm trying to go Friday night before, but she was busy. So, amen. I'm putting it out there. And I want to say to you, Bishop Bauer, I know you're probably watching too in. I'm getting tired now. Praise God. So you got to do something. Praise be to God. It's been, well, it's been eight weeks. It's been about eight weeks, right? Praise God. Amen. And the young man about to, about to run out of breath. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the saints praying for me. And I can continue. And praise God. Amen. As Paul said, I was able to have faith in God. And by the strength of God, I was able to continue until this day. Look at me if you will, praise God, in the book of Matthew, excuse me, Mark, the eighth chapter, because the weather is getting so nice out here. And for the Bennett family, amen, the house was burnt. They were burnt out, amen. I guess had to be on last night or whatever. Yeah, oh man, I'm passing. You know, somebody died, praise God. The person died. So we are praying for them. Let's just pray for them now. You notice that part. They got burned out and the person died. Praise God. Let's just stand. We're going to pray for this family. Praise God. Because it could have been you or I. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank Father, you. in the name of Jesus, I know you hear me. Yes, Lord. And you always hear me. For I do those things that are pleasing in your eyes, son. And you declare that your ear is open to the cry of the righteous. The righteous man prayers avail it much. I'm praying and we all are praying for this family right now, especially in that death that was lost, that yes, loved one that died. Praise God. We pray, God, that you will give that family consolation right now. In the name of Jesus, strengthen out of Zion. We know a home can be replaced. We know clothing and everything can be replaced. Yes. But not a life. Right. You are the giver of life. And Lord God, this soul that has been snatched out of the earth. Oh God, we pray for the yes. family. Yes, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you will strengthen them. Like never before again, yes. hear your voice speaking to them. Yes, Lord. And giving them, amen, encouragement yes, to keep on going forward. Yes, praise God, yes, praise Lord. God. We thank you for it, Lord. Yes, Lord. We praise you right now. In the name of Jesus. Bennett family, I want you to know, earth has no sorrow. Yes, Lord. And heaven cannot heal. God is the healer. He'll live, he'll heal your broken heart. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, you may receive. Praise God. Again, thank you. We thank God in your so we're going into Amen. The book of Mark, chapter 8. I want to say this to you. The weather is began to be very, very nice. Isn't that right? I look at the report for the rest of the week. And it's supposed to be Praise God. So I want you to know, put that on your Get ready because we're going to get ready to turn our plates down. Praise the Lord. And bass. Praise God. Amen. I firmly believe. Well, I had to go to what my pastor taught me. And I thank him for his teaching. He said, if you don't pray, you won't stay. He said, if you don't fast, Yes. Praise God. Amen. Because you have to deny that flesh. That flesh will get in the way. Praise God. Amen. And tell you, it'll try to dominate you. Praise God. And tell you what you can do and what you can't do. Over in 
Praise God. Mark chapter 8. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. All right, <clears throat> Mark eight. Jesus speaking here, praise God, and it reads, I have compassion on the multitude because they have been with me three days, and they have nothing to eat. Three days, and they have nothing to eat. And if I send them away fasting to their own house, they will faint by the way. I have the lives of them come from far. A lot of them came from a long ways. So Jesus is saying, if I send them away, they ain't gonna make it home. They ain't gonna make it back. They're gonna be too weak to make that journey. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So, what happens here? He said, but, amen, I must do something for these people. Amen. I must do something for them. So he said to the disciples, he said, Amen. They will faint in the fourth verse, and his disciples answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? Somehow he's in the wilderness as well as in the Amen. Level land. Praise God. He asked them, How many loaves have ye? Uh-huh, and he said seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. There's something about a command from God. When God makes a command, who can refuse it? Who cannot obey it? Because he's God. Praise God. Amen. And the scripture says, when we walk up right before him, he told Israel, well, we are spiritual Israel. By birth, we are, amen, we're in a family. He says to Israel, he said, praise God. He said, in all these blessings, I will command them. Can you tell me a blessing that ain't going to come on you when God himself commanded it? Praise God. So when he commands something, it's done. Praise God. There's no, there's no if, ands, about it. It is done. Praise God. So he commanded the people to sit down on the grass and he took the seven loaves, that's what's the bread, and gave thanks. Somebody wrote a song, you got a little bit put in the master's hand because he will cause it to be more than enough. And that's why I keep telling all of the people here at the Reverend Rock, lose that word. Let that word get out of your thought life, out of your word. You don't have enough. You, when you don't have enough, you shut the door for enough to not be able to get in. Because Jesus is more than enough. That's why he said we are blessed to be a blessing. You can't, amen, you cannot be anything else if you're blessed by God, but be a blessing. So I'm blessed, talk about me, to be a blessing. Praise God. Amen. And he blessed it and gave thanks. Praise God. And gave, and broke, excuse me. And he blessed it and gave thanks. And broke it and gave to his disciples to set before them. Before them. And they did eat there before the people. And they did eat before the people. And they had a few small fish. And he blessed and commanded to set 
them also before you. Two fish, I believe it was, and five loaves, according to one of the other gospel writers. That's all they had. But the people was hungry. I love what my pastor taught us. He said, when you really get hungry for God, he'll feed you. Hello. In this case, it was natural food. But if you get hungry for spiritual food, he will feed you. Spiritual food. Amen. Praise God. And that's what the spiritual man live on. He lives off of spiritual food. Well, my spiritual food is the word of God. Praise God. Because the word of God is alive. It is God. And when we read the word, we, amen, we begin to enhance the word. We take the word in. It's food. It's food. That's why he said, when they were in the wilderness, amen, he said, God allowed this to happen to you, that he may make you to know what was in your heart. Praise God. That's why he allowed you to hunger, that ye may know, praise God, that man does not live by bread alone. Yes, yes. Praise God. Yes, but by yes. every word Everywhere. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. If you want to be, amen, strong in the Lord Jesus, in power in his might, you've got to, amen, eat the word, learn to live by the word, or off the word. Praise be to God. Amen. Why? Because the word is life. And the word is quick. And the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. You have to become word-minded. Jesus was word-minded. Jesus made it very clear. I only say what my father tells me to say. Yes, I don't come up with no new revelation. Hello in here. Yes. But whatever my father tells me to say, that's what I say. Yes. So an example for you and I, we need to learn not to say what we feel or think, but say what Jesus said. Praise God. Uh -huh. Amen. Some of you got off, uh, got cut off Friday night. Praise God. But the Lord was making something very, very clear to us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That when we begin to repeat what he said, uh -huh. it's no longer your responsibility then. Amen. It all hangs on his shoulder. Amen. Because you're saying what he told you to say. Praise be to God. So no way is he going to let you down. Praise be to God. Ah, glory to God. So it said, and they ate, and it was about 5,000. That was a lot of people. Praise God. And after they all had ate and was full, he sent them away. And they gathered up some leftovers. Mm -hmm. I want you to know, that's why we say and know he's a God of more than enough. Mm -hmm. You will end up with some leftovers. Praise God when you allow God to do what he wants to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you allow him, amen, and to, amen, take full control in your life. Praise God. Amen. But you got to yield yourself over to him. Matthew 17, 17. Let me just skip down here. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Uh huh. All right, look with me if you will. Uh, the 14th verse in chapter 17. And when they were coming to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is right, uh -huh, 
And so, no, excuse me, but he's a lunatic. And so that's, for often, he falls into the fire and often into the water. Praise God. Amen. Listen here. And I brought him to your disciples that they could not cure him. Uh -huh. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and heroic generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. Ah, God. Huh? And Jesus rebuked the devil. And, his, uh, and he departed out of him. Uh-huh. And the child was cured from that very hour. He went to the disciples, but they could not cast that spirit out. See, let me, let me, let me make you know something. Those evil spirits, that's what calls people to do evil. That thing is living in them. Praise God. Amen. But it's got, it ain't no way it can live in you when you got Jesus. Because he won't share his house with nobody. That's right. Praise God. You can't have a husband and a sweetheart and tell me you got Jesus. No, you ain't. Uh -huh. I preached a message once. He called Adam to fall into a deep sleep. And he took a rib from Adam and brought him back a woman. He didn't take, he didn't bring out about spell ribs. Y'all think on that. Praise God. Praise God. He brought him back a woman. Praise God. And Adam was so much like God. Adam is in a deep sea. Y'all need to hear me. Huh? Because the word said he called Adam to a deep sea. But when he brought Eve back, he asked Adam, what shall I call her? God Almighty. And he said, woman, for she's flesh of my flesh and bones of my bones. Listen, listen. The Lord said something to me when I said he called, I said Adam was so much like God, he fell in that deep sleep. The Lord said something to me. That's why it is written, I never sleep, not slumber. Amen. Praise be to God. Even though Adam was in a deep sleep, yet he knew what was going on. Y'all ain't ready for me. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. So he said, yeah, let me just drop down here to, to my phone. Here too. Uh -huh. All right. I'm going to read on now. Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Uh -huh. Then came the disciples unto Jesus apart and said, why could not we cast him out? You don't hear too many pastors or preachers following this. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. Huh. I'm going to put my finger there. He said, you couldn't do it because of your unbelief. Praise God. They had power because he had given it to them to go out and do work. But they ran into a case that they couldn't handle. Praise God. Amen. When you, amen, when God, God gave them power, but they still couldn't cast out this lunatic, this demon, amen, that was in this boy. Praise God. Praise God. You get to talking about casting out demons and things like that. Amen. People climb up on you. They get quiet. Amen. They don't want to know too much about what you're saying. And Jesus said unto them, bring him unto me. So and so, praise God. And the young man was cured. We know he was cured. Amen. Yeah, here's a part I want to get to. And the disciples, when they came to Jesus, they wanted to know why come we couldn't cast him out. He said, because of your unbelief. Let me tell you something. You, when you're walking in doubt, you don't, they don't even expect nothing from God. It just ain't going to happen. Right. I'm here to tell you he's a faith God. 
Right. Hallowing him. Amen. And anything you get from God, it's going to be by faith. Yeah. Huh? We got the precious gift from God, and how do we get it? We got it by faith. Because the word said, by faith are you saved. Mm -hmm. Not by works that any man should vote. Praise God. Amen. When they told you he died for you and how he hung on a tree, praise God, for your sins, amen. Some of you stand there weeping, praise God. But you received it and you believed it. Hello. Well, I did, but you didn't. Praise God. Now, y'all look at me kind of strange, you two, three that's in here. Praise God. You, you When you received it, the change took place. Now, there's some stuff, amen, that was in you. You don't know how it got out of you, but all you know, it ain't in you no more. Amen. amen. I need somebody to talk to. Amen. I want you to know, amen, no man, no woman, no boy, no girl can have Christ in their life and remain the same. Amen. The devil is a liar because the word of God says, any man in Christ Jesus yes. is a new creature. Yes. Behold, all things are passed away. Uh, and all things become brand new. Hello in here. There's a great change in your life. Yes. And you don't have to try to make it change. It just drops on you. Hello. Praise be to God. It just drops on you automatically. That's when in your heart. See, yeah, yeah. You can say a lot of words out your mouth. But when it's in your heart, and it's amen, coming out of your heart, you're believing what you're saying you in your in your heart. God is looking at your heart. Praise God. And when you mean it from your heart, praise be to God. God begins to move for you. Amen. Amen. Well, they said, now wait a minute, Pastor. You have said, out of the abundance of a man's heart, speak of them. That's right. And that's why that stuff comes out your mouths and out of people's mouths. Amen. They don't want to say, but they can't help it because it's in them. Hello. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We the, let me tell you something, and I'm going to move on. We destroy ourselves. We destroy ourselves with our own tongue. Right in, in the Word of God, go, go read it first chance you get out now. It says a tongue is a deadly piece of poison. Amen. It says one of the smallest members of your body. But oh, how it bolsters. That tongue, that tongue. I'm talking all the time. I'm talking all the time. Praise God, praise God. I said no man can tame it. Mm -mm. They're talking about how powerful the tongue, the tongue was. The tongue was. See, it's like a helm that makes a big ship. Those big cruise ships and warships. They got a little old thing down in the water. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And it's called it. And, and the captain of the ship, he turns the wheel and that little rudder, that little thing in the water, it goes left, it goes right, and swings that whole ship. And he, did not, he said, that's what your tongue is. So when your tongue ain't talking right, the tongue will swing you in the wrong direction. Hello in here, praise God. Amen. Praise God. But you, you, you've got to, amen. Pastor used to love to sing the song. We would sing that song, so, oh Lord, oh Lord, put the bits in my mouth, battle down my tongue, take me by my hand and lead me on. Praise God. Praise God. So the tongue can no man take. But God. Right. I say, but God. Right. Hello in here. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Now, if you really want to change, amen. He'll change you. Hello. Amen. He will change you. Praise God. He will bring the change in your life. So disciples are saying here, they, they said, why come we couldn't do it? He said, because of your unbelief. You have to believe that he is a rewarder to them that diligently say, you can't come here on Sunday. Praise God. And sing, jump, praise God, and then praise God after Sunday, amen, come Monday through next, until the end of Saturday night, midnight or whatever, you out there raising all the hell that you can, praise God, and amen. doing all the terrible things that the enemy will have you to do. And you amen. think, you, you think, praise God, amen, that God's going to move in your behalf? No. Praise God, ain't going to happen. No. Amen. Yeah? Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You got to walk in his way 724. Amen. Now, I know sometimes you'll get pulled out your comfort zone, but you got to know how to get back in your comfort zone. Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, if you get mad and stay mad, then who's mad? Ain't nobody but the devil. He's the one that gets mad. That's right. Hallelujah. Not Jesus. 
Praise God. He's forgiving God. And he said, except you forgive, you shall all likewise perish. I don't care what they said, what they done, you got to forgive them. Praise God. You don't have to forgive them. If you don't, hell will be your portion. I'm going to walk in forgiveness. No matter what you said, no matter what you done. Have you told the truth or told a lie? I'm going to walk in forgiveness. Why? I don't want my soul to be lost. Hello, when I realize that I'm going to get up out of this flesh one day and go be with the Lord. But let me tell you something. Nobody wants to die. Praise God. But that's the only way you can get the glory. Because the flesh you dragging around with you ain't, is not going where you trying to get. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So when he told the disciples, this can only go out only to him by fasting and praying. This is why I want to talk about fasting and praying. Is because it builds your faith. Okay. It makes your spirit that's in you, that spirit of God, it becomes more attentive, more sharper to the voice of God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, I can use myself for an example. There were some things before 19 hit. God dealt with me. Praise God. Amen. He, he, ugged, he pushed me. He hooked me to do something that I didn't do because I kept talking perhaps too much. You can talk, you can talk too much, you know. Hello, and yet there was one man who said the brother talked so much, the police stopped him and gave him a ticket. And he talked so much, he talked himself out of the ticket, kept on talking so much, and he talked himself back into it. Amen. Hello, and yet, praise God. So you got to know when to shut your mouth. That's right. Hello. The Lord told me what to do. Now I got a witness because I spoke to the daughter. And I said, you know, I kept saying, and I encouraged the daughter to do the very same thing. I didn't do it. Praise God. So sometimes, your spirit, praise God, is not, amen, tuned up like it should be that you can hear and let God give you the reason why he's urging you or telling you to do whatever he's telling you to do. So he said to the disciples, because of your unbelief. Let me go there. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. But look what he said. For truly, for really I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye should say unto this mountain, huh? Remove hence to yonder's place, and it shall remove, and uh, nothing shall be impossible unto you. God is telling these disciples that if you, amen, have faith, what you can do. Now, if he's not a liar, that means not a natural mountain. The mountain is in your life. Because some things, amen, they not the mold hills, what we call the mountains. But the 21st verse, I want to, without a talk of thought, it's been from the 21st verse. But how about this kind goes not out but by praying and what? Fasting. Fasting. He made it clear. I know, fellas, y'all, I give y'all power. Yes, he did. He, he sent them out. He gave them authority, gave them power. But they ran into a situation here that they can't handle. He said, well, even though they, they believe, don't they tell you something? You can have, you can believe, you can be on this letter. Well, let me, let me give you an example. Amen. If I, if I said, tell someone, I want you to pray with me, and I believe in God for a million dollars. You say, all right, Pastor, I'm going to pray with you. I'm, I'm going to stand with you because I'm believing him for half a million. I need to go get myself somebody else. That's right. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Because already their faith level is not for a million, but for half a million. Praise God. So when you say, I want to get someone to believe with me, you got to get on the same level. Yeah, yeah. I can prove my point. He said, if two or three touching and agreeing on anything that they ask, it shall be done. So praise God. So then we, you and I agreeing, praise God, it's just two of us. He's number three anyway. He's number one, praise God. So we'll make the other two, praise God. But we got to agree. So if you say you agree from your mouth, not from your heart, uh -huh. you really ain't agreeing with me. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But 
to agree to come to an agreement. So why, praise God, would you, amen, want to partner with someone that's believing for half a million when you're believing for a million? And I tell you, when I talk about the numbers that I'm believing God for, they're stagnating. The folks look at me like I'm crazy. Well, I know they used me to have to ask them to believe with me because they think I'm crazy to even call that number. So I'll ask you a question. Is there anything too hard for God? No. Huh? Is there anything too hard for God, daughters? Anything? No. Huh? There's nothing too hard for God. No. Praise God. So now, the Lord said to me, son, I knew you was going to ask me for that before I ever put you on the earth. He says, so I've already given it to you. He says, so you don't have to ask me for it now. All you got to do is receive it. I lost somebody there. Praise God. We have to receive what he's already given us. Praise God. He's already given us the wealth of this world. He's given it to his people. Right. Praise God. He's made it very clear. The just shall live by faith. Praise God. And he said the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. And I was saying amen on, on uh, Friday night. I says, my God. I said, I get to thinking about what the word of God is saying. The word of God is saying to us, praise be to God. He told me, I mean, it just it just made me want to run, holler, and scream. He said, listen, son. He said, I want you to know something for a fact. First of all, I'm a God that cannot lie. And I told you, I spoke to you in my word, and I told you about the things that has happened for you. He said, I told you that I had stuff laid up for you that your eyes have never seen. He said, I know you've seen some beautiful things and some nice things, but your eyes ain't never seen what I got laid up for you. Amen. He said, not only that, you've heard people talk about things and trains and planes and all kinds of things. You've heard some beautiful things in your ear, but your ears ain't never heard what I got for you. Good okay. God Almighty. Man, I'm getting happy about long day, you know, because I know this is right. Praise God. He said, and one more thing, son. He said, I know you have a pretty good thought life. He said, they never hit your heart, good God Almighty, the things that I have laid up for you. Praise God. Mm. Not only for you, but for them who love me. When he said, who love me, I said, I qualify. Praise God. How you know, Squirrel? He said, because if you love me, yeah. you'll keep my commandments. Good yeah. God Almighty. I wish I had a church yeah. in this place. Praise be to God. If you're walking in him, my God, you already got it. Praise Amen. God. Hello, and you praise God. Go on praise and just pick it up. Praise God. Because he's already given it to you. Yeah. Hmm. Ain't that right? Yeah. So he says to them, but this kind only goes. That's why we're going to prevailing rock. I don't know when, but when, when y'all you know, I'll start calling and texting y'all and telling you from certain hour to certain hour, we're going we're gonna to turn our plates down. And why we turn our plates down, because that's a reminder. See, because if you don't watch out, and you say you're going to pass, amen, all them folks that never bought you coffee, they can bring coffee on your job for you. Hello, yeah. yeah. Praise God. Them folks that never thought anything about you wanting anything to eat, and know you didn't get no lunch break, they never offer to bring you nothing back. Or walk back in and say, I know you ain't going out for lunch, so I brought you a sandwich. But, see, you got to watch them tricks. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hello? Yeah. Praise God. And, and, and so I said, it's going to be warm. So, amen. We, we got to get back to fasting and praying. I said, what are you fasting and praying about this? Well, we've been fasting and praying for souls. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. Now, you know what I'm saying? We, ain't gonna be, we, we don't have to fast and pray for the stuff that we want. Because we done learned today. He already gave it to us. Good God of mine. Yeah. I wish I had a church in here. Praise God. Amen. He, the stuff that's stored up, that means he done gave it to you. Amen. So you ain't got to be fasting and praying for no house. Or no car or no job, he's already given it to you. Praise God. Amen. 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 So we're going to be fast and praying for souls. Praise God. That God would go in and save somebody's son, some mother's daughter. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Somebody tell him thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you, Lord, we honor you, and we give you all the glory. Uh huh. But this kind. Mm. Only go out through in by fasting and praying. Praise God. Now when you fast, amen. We already read over there in Mark what Jesus said, 
How many days they've been with him? Three days. Mm -hmm. And they have not eaten. Huh? Praise God. We've learned here at Prevailing Rock, praise God, that when we fast, we, we know what to do, amen. We, we're not supposed to get hungry. No. <laughs> I know we might get a few texts on that, praise God. Someone may challenge us on that. Huh. But according to the word of God, we're not supposed to get hungry. If you read the word, it says, after Jesus in the wilderness 40 days, 40 nights, he fasted when he came out. Praise God. He said, then he was hungry. He was hungry after the fast had ended. And after the fast had ended, the end of his soul, the adversary came up and met him and said, listen, if you be the son of God. That's how the devil do. I don't like calling his name. That's how the other folk do. All the people got, if you so say, he know you say, he just trying to mess with your mind. Amen. If you so say, if you're who you say you are, well, why this and why that? Praise be to God. Amen. He will challenge you. But Jesus, if you know, Jesus didn't just say, get behind me, sailor. But he gave him the word first. He said, it is written. Amen. That's why you've got to get the word in you yeah. that you can hit him, amen, with a Joe Lewis punch. Okay. Oh, God Almighty. You've got to have a word to hit that fellow with because he knows, praise God, when you hit him with the word, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. And Jesus didn't just tell him to get behind him. He said, it is written. Yeah. God Almighty. Yeah. Man shall not live by yeah. bread alone. Yeah. See, when he comes messing with you, whatever thing that you, amen, know that he keeps on bothering you with, get in this word, get in the mirror, and find a scripture, praise God, that'll come back that devil, that when he comes back, praise be to God, you can say, it is Richard, yeah. oh God Almighty, yeah. oh my God, then you quote the scripture to him, praise God, amen, I guarantee you, he's going to back up, praise God, not that he won't come back, but you'll get a break, praise be to God. Okay. That's why you got to get the word in you yeah. that you'll have a tool to fight with. Yeah. Praise be yeah. to God. Then you don't have to run around and ask the folk, what do you think? Or what would you say? Yeah. Praise God, because you got the word in you. Praise be to God. And God Amen. will give you the answers. Bless the Lord on my soul. Amen. 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 God. So according to the word of God, he said, but you must fast. So in another case here, John's disciples came to Jesus. My God. Yeah. Maybe one of my Bible scholars will tell you that was wrong. I'm just going to quote it to you. John's disciples came to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they say, we got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Why do John's disciples fast, and your disciples don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say it now. I, yeah. I'm in the Word. Hello. Praise God. You challenge anything, you be challenging the Word. He said, John's disciples fast. You know, John's disciples before Jesus yeah. Yeah. got his disciples. Mm -hmm. So he said, John's disciples fast, but you don't come. Why, 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 why come there? And Jesus said, so, he said, can the children of the bridegroom mm -hmm. mourn them or as long as the bride is with them? Yes. They, don't, they don't have no need to fast. Jesus said, I'm here with them. Yes. They don't have no need. He said, but the day will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them. Yes. He said, then they must fast. Amen. Huh? Amen. He said, but now I'm here with them. Praise God. Amen. So beautiful. Amen. He didn't want to leave them, amen, stranded or wondering what was going to take place. He said, Lord, he said, he said, it's expedient that I go away. I got to go back because if I don't, the comfort won't come. There is the comfort up there, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. That's the comfort. He, that's who he sent back. He said, but if I go away, good God Almighty, I'll send him back. Yes. I'll see. Yes. He said, I'll send him back. And he'll do in you just what you've seen me do. Yeah. He'll bring all things back to your remembrance. Yeah. Whatever you've learned of me. Yeah. Praise God. He said, he'll show you.
few things to come before they happen. I want y'all to know, I know it works, I know it works, I know it works, it works, it works. Yes. How you know swell because it worked for me? Yes. If it worked for me, it'll work for you. Yes. I got to the best speed of yes, God. Yes, Lord. Best speed of God. So that's what's missing in a lot of the people of God's life. Mm, mm, then yes, you do merely good. Praise God. But over in Acts 19, we read it last week. Yes, mm -hmm. I believe it's 19. Who was it? When a Paul, a Paul or somebody having passed through the upper coast? Yes. Huh? Now this is you. If you ain't been baptized and filled with his precious Holy Ghost, this is you. Anybody there? Praise God. I, I, I don't want them to say that's what the pastor said over there. Tell them where it's found. Let them read it. And then make their decision. Of course, Acts 19, isn't it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Read it for me. Get that door on my cheek out. Read it. Read it that for me. Praise God. Thank you. Now, this is not my theory. This is what the word said. Huh? And, and, and I just told you earlier, he said, man, should not live by bread alone, but by every word. Now, what does it say that, daughter? Acts 10, verse Acts. 1. Wait a minute. Is that Paul having passed through the upper coast? Yes. Okay, 10. I said 19, but all right. No, Acts 19. I'm sorry. Acts 19. Oh, I too? 19. So, so Scott, stop messing with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive I, me. I know that's not a script out there for these guys. Hold on me. Is that script out on me? I know I got to be on target. Hello. I might miss, brother, but I ain't going to miss far. Amen. Hello, India. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Right. Acts 19, huh? Verse 2. Verse 2. Read. He said unto them. Who said unto them? Paul. Read. Well, what, tell me about the year he was passing. What is it? You started you the first verse. And it came to pass. That's what I want to hear. That while Apollos was in Corinthians, I told him my own. Paul having passed through the upper coast. I thought it was Paul. Praise God. <laughs> came to Ephesus. Came to Ephesus, uh huh. And finding a certain disciple. No. Put your finger there. Who were they? Disciples. disciples. They were believers. Yes, they were. They weren't just people. He found certain disciples, and what happened? And he said unto them, He asked them a question. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? No, that's enough. There were believers. There were disciples. They were doing what they knew to do. But they was lacking a tool. Mm. The tool that will keep you from stepping out of line. The tool that will shut your mouth. Praise God. Mm. And have water come out your eyes before you open your mouth. Mm. That's what they were missing. They were missing the connection, the spirit that could tell them exactly what they needed to do. Uh -huh. Exactly where they needed to go. To tell them what someone was going to say before you even got, I went, had someone to do some work and I had to go change the date. Praise God. And I walked out the house and before I could get to the corner, the Holy Ghost said, you can change the date. Well, he can tell you another word, but don't mind about the date. I'm coming on that day anyway uh -huh. that you wanted me to come. Amen. And when I got before him, not just once, but so many times, I know the Holy Ghost will show you and tell you, amen, things that you don't know. Right. Praise God. That right. your little P mind cannot articulate. Mm. Praise God. Why? Because that is a supernatural power of God. Yeah. And it ain't no, I think so. When people say, well, I, I heard, I, I, I heard something. I know right away. They, ain't, they don't know what they heard. Because when God speak, he speak plain. Yes. If you're born and said, the Lord spoke to me. Hello, we here. And that's why I'm kind of skeptical folks that something told me. There's a lot of somethings out there. Hello. I said, there's a lot of somethings out there. Hello. The Bible said many false prophets have gone out into the world. Praise mm -hmm. God. Deceiving many. Yes. Deceiving many. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. You stop putting them quarters in his pocket. You see how long, praise God, he always mentioned your name. 
Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get you to open your blinded eyes. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> That's a pastor. Whoever he is, ain't got his trust in God. Got his trust in, amen, what he can get. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Church without a vision, perish. Don't you think Perella Rock don't have no vision? Don't we have a vision? Anybody? Yes, we Praise do. God. He's going to tell you we have a vision. Mm -hmm. But they'll tell you what God has already, amen, spoken to our hearts. Yes. How we've had people walk in here, not no hypocrites, and come. a lot of folk come in here talking. Let me tell y'all something. Yes, and then, and then that, old, that old spirit, he can pick up a lot of stuff too, you know. Yes, oh, yeah. I'm talking about that, that old spirit that would deceive you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's one thing about the devil. Mm -hmm. He can't tell all the truth. Amen. If you have a dream, mm -hmm. huh, now, let me use myself. When the Lord delivered me from smoking in 1900, in the 60s, 67 back there, I was 40 delivered. That demon had me to dream that I was smoking a cigar. Huh? And the Lord delivered me from smoking. Uh -huh. But it wasn't no truth in the dream because he had me smoking one of those big cat like cigars and I ain't never could stand them even when I was smoking. Hello? So that part of the dream was a lie. Uh -huh. So when you dream and you got a lie in the dream, uh -huh. I said lie, but you know there ain't none of you. Uh -huh. Praise God. Then you need to take that dream and go straight to the garbage can uh -huh. and drop it in the garbage. Hello okay. in here. Because God Speaks the truth. Yes, he does. Now, there's no lie in him. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. <laughs> y'all, y'all forgive me. <laughs> Praise God. Right. Amen. Amen. And that he's looking for, he's looking for men. Mm -hmm. He's looking for men. He's looking for ladies, sons and daughters, right. who would take a bold stand yeah. and speak the truth. Amen. Praise God. Why, Spelman? He said, because when you know the truth, the truth sets you free. Praise God. Somebody challenged him while he was doing his ministry. He says, yeah, what is true? He said, my word is true. Yes. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. You want to know what truth is? His word. Not my word. His word is true. Praise God. So any good preacher, he'll graduate from book getting upset with him when he's preaching the truth. Because he didn't write it. Praise God. It wasn't spoken to him and he penned it. Praise God. It was yellow army before he got here. Praise be to God. You got this dark corner, spade or spade. Hello, we here. Amen. <laughs> right. I guess I'm going to stop. Praise right. God. No, Praise don't. God. Amen. That's why, amen, we got all kinds of stuff in the church today. Not in the church, in the sanctuary. They ain't really in the church. Let me help you folk out there. When you look and say, oh, my God. Uh, I thought them folk in pastor's church are all were saved. They are. Praise God. In my church. They all were saved. Because can't no sin live in God's church. Amen. Not only here. Amen. Praise right. God. But this ain't the church. This is a sanctuary. So you see folk walking out here. And you saw them somewhere else the night before. And you say, uh -huh, that's who goes to that church. No, no, no. That ain't the church. That's, praise God, someone coming into the sanctuary. Your Bible says, know ye not that your body is the temple yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The church lies within you. Yeah. That's why he said, I'm coming back from the church. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I ain't coming back for the building. Yeah. I'm coming back for my church. Yeah. You're the church. You're the walking epistle. Praise be to God. Yeah. And that's why he said, my church keeps its lights on. 724. Where is my church at? Yeah. For ye are the lights of the world. I'm going to start. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Yes. Yeah. Right. You preach your life. Right. Amen. Praise God. I I told the saints years ago, some of them forgot. I said, a wolf can never be a sheep. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And they talk about be ye, be ye aware of wolves. Mm -hmm. And some of them know what a wolf is, but a wolf eats you alive. I'm a country boy, I know what a wolf is. Praise God. Say, be you well, wolves in what? Sheep clothing. In sheep clothing. Mm -hmm. You see the little cartoon they made for the kids? This wolf, he put on clothes like a sheep. He's amongst the sheep trying to get a sheep. But his black tail was sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> but I told the same spelling. I said, a sheep goes, bad. A wolf can't do that. 
I work out of bad. He'll go, woo. <laughs> Praise God. He howls. He can't, amen, be like a sheep, bear like a sheep. And the word of God tells us to be well of wolves dressed up in sheep clothing. Oh, now, praise God. If you know what you are as a wolf, that's, that's a shame on you. But the word of God tells me, when you know they ain't going right, the people you're hung with ain't, ain't the folks that you want to be like no more. He said, you need to come out from among them. Amen. And separate yourself. You got, listen, right, let, let me, maybe this will help somebody out there. I love to sing. I still try to get an A for effort. And I was with a group, praise God. Amen. But they, they leave their wives home and take the girlfriends to the singing. Praise God. And trying to sing something about Jesus. You need to go sit down. Get your life straight now. Amen. Praise him. Hello in here. You need to be born again. I'm going to stop before. Amen. The Brown Rock start calling me, telling me, Pastor Fussell again. I ain't fussing. I'm trying to tell you how to dodge hell and make heaven your home. Praise God. That's what I'm trying to tell you, buddy. Praise God. Amen. Because every man's work is going to be tried. Bless your hearts. Again, we pray for. I'm looking at this note here from the Bennett. I don't know if that was Brother Bennett's family there in Patterson, but if so, my heart goes out for you. He did me a lot of good things in TNAC, praise God. He and his sons, and that is the Bennett family, whom, I, whom I'm thinking about. I knew the father very well. Praise God, a lot of our pastors knew him. Amen, Pastor. Amen, Bishop Page. And, so many more. It's a sweet brother. And if that's the Bennett who I who was here, I'm, I'm definitely amen. Have you in my heart and continue to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. All right, Father, we thank you for your word. We honor you. We praise you. As we're about to come to a close the service, I pray to God that you have allowed me to voice some words that rest upon the hearts of some of the people, Lord God, that are out there trying to make a decision, thinking about what they can, should do, what they should not do. Lord, give them direction. Give them direction. And make them to know, make them to know that you promise you never leave them. You never turn their lives over to you. Praise God that you would bring them through. Thank you. No matter what it may be. The failure would not be in God. It would be in you and I. So Lord, I pray for that. Again, we pray for all the Prevailing Rock members. People, amen, who has joined this work and those who are real close to us. We thank God for you. Thank God for our Pastor Allen that are in the Bronx. Our people that are in uh, Mount Vernon, praise God. We want you all to know. I got see. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want you to know. God's going to take you through. Praise God. God's going to take you through. Mount Vernon, God's going to take you through. I don't know what's going on, Mount Vernon, but I feel you into my spirit. In the spirit of God, I feel you. God's taking you through. God is taking you through. You have victory, my brother. My brother, you have victory. God, get on the line. Get on, get on the phone. Send us, send, us, send, us, send us a text. Let us know. Let us know. Praise God that we keep you in prayer. I hear you, my brother. I hear you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. For those, amen, who, have, who are having financial struggles, we lose your finance right now. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. They can't, they can't hold it. They can't hold it. The harvest is coming. Hallelujah. As a church. Say amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The harvest is coming for the labors of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, brother. Just stand over here. I want to pray for you. Yes. 